they asked me if I could help to get her better known. Um, and yes, um, I used to go quite a lot to the, the wing house and watch her lovingly work on her clays down in the cellar, the crypt, where it was freezing cold. And everybody came down and said, look, does, you're, you're, going to, you're going to catch pneumonia, double pneumonia, pleurisy, TB, anything. Get out of this crypt. No, 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 she said, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is what I'm here to do and I'm working at it and, and it doesn't matter. Um, she caught quite a lot of very heavy infections. Uh, but it didn't matter to her because when she was down there, that was her life. There's a lot of interest in uh, 20th century classic ceramics. So that's a very brief history of the, of the building itself uh, and what's happened, but this is a thousand years old almost, this, some of these pillars and, and stones are uh, originally as they were. And this is where she did, this is where she displayed a lot of her work. This is the workshop, yes. Yeah, work, workshop. So, yeah, uh, so I apologise, this is our storage room at the moment, so uh, <laughs> it's not the uh, She could use this. She sacrificed her herself work. by not heating it very much, so that oh, really? the clay would be in better shape to be oh. to be molded by. Oh, really? And everybody used to say, "For God's sake, you're going to catch your death of cold <laughs> and, and double pneumonia and pleurisy and galloping consumption." Yeah. She said, oh, "It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter." Oh, she used to have her sculptures in the garden, and we everybody could see them on plinths throughout the garden, oh, really? and it was lovely. We could walk around them. 
and the ceramics she used to keep in a glass case in the big sitting room. Yeah, uh, the big, big sitting room, yeah. She would show us all her work and talk about her life and her. she loved Paris and she loved London and she loved the good things of life really. And Including cigars. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, she did. She loved the good yeah. things of life, didn't she? And and I remember showed her, she showed us a magazine with um, it was a Vogue magazine. Articles and her ceramics were in there. And I remember seeing those. I really just remember her being very short, a very small lady, but very very smart. Always always dressed beautifully, and uh, the cap. And a cap. And once I was in hospital because I'd hurt my back, and she came in with this very uh, shiny red raincoat with big black spots all over it, <laughs> and the cap. And she was a tiny lady. Came <laughs> <and watched. laughs> yes. Brilliant. Yes. Oh. Yes. Do you have a particular memory? Some some outstanding memory of? of I don't uh, think I could repeat them. <laughs> 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 I think she was just a character. She was a great character.